Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ro. I'm a self-diagnosed shopaholic and today I am finally doing a review on the Louis Vuitton bum bag. But before we get started, kids love luxury fashion or shopping in general, please hit that subscribe button down below. Turn your notifications to know when I post my next video. I am so sorry that it took me this long to make this video for you guys. This is a highly requested video and I'm sorry that I took so long to make it, but I really did want to use this bag enough to give you guys an honest review on it here. So I am finally at that point and I can tell you guys what I love and hate about this bag. And then also I'm going to be showing you guys what's in this bag currently and how I wear it. So let's start off with things that I like about this bag. So I love how stylish it is. I love how convenient it is. It's actually super cute. And I know the print is a little crazy, but honestly, I got used to it very quickly. And when I got it in person, I honestly think that it looks so much better in person. And it's really cute. Like I really like this print now when I was super scared of it when I ordered it. So I know a lot of you guys are debating on whether or not you guys want to get this bag because it is such a great price. It is currently on 24S's website for like $16.47, I believe. And then there's also a discount code where you guys can take 10% off. So it's a really good price when the monogram version is currently like running at like $3,000 and the Enpont like $3,500. So it's a really good price for the bum bag. I know the print is scary, but honestly... I get so many compliments on it and I really did fall in love with this print even though I was terrified of it when I first bought it. So I highly recommend it. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me if 24S is authentic or um, if it's worth to buy this bag and I honestly think that it is worth it to buy a bum bag if you honestly want a bum bag. This is honestly going to be the cheapest version where you can get a brand new bum bag. Um, for like a fraction of its price. So I do think that it is a great deal. And 24S is 100% authentic. I have bought from them so many times. I have also ref um, returned things with them and their refund policy is amazing. So my advice, if you guys wanna get this bag is to get it while it's still in stock and if you guys don't love it when you receive it just return it because 24s honestly has a great return policy and i've returned with them many times and i've got a full refund so that's what i recommend is just get it and see if you guys love it if you don't just give it back to them so that is what i recommend with that and then now let's get into what i kind of dislike about this bag so I am only saying these things, which these are not really problematic things, um, because I want to give you guys an honest review and I want to give you guys like the best review that I can give about this bag before you get it. So these things aren't even a big deal, but if they are a big deal to you, I just want you to know that this could happen. <laughs> so I put a twilly on here because obviously it is the easiest way to grab this bag from the top handle. So this is how I normally grab the bag. It's just I grab it and go. So that's why I have the twilly on there. But also when you grab it from here, this top part kind of like morphs in. And I don't know if that's going to change the shape in any way later on if you keep doing it. But so far it hasn't because once you put the um, top handle down, it, it flattens out again. But when you pull it up, it just kind of morphs in. So it's not a huge deal, but I thought I would put that out there. These sides are really what I am concerned with because these two sides right here, they fold in and out um, very easily. They kind of just like crease a little, they crease very easily right here. If I can show you guys right here, they just crease very easily. And then what I'm nervous about is potentially the canvas cracking later on. So that is just something to look out for, but currently it is not a problem. I just see that the potential is there for the cracking. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, the lip. Okay, so this is unavoidable and any bum bag that you get, whether the monogram version or the on pot version, this, you still have to deal with this. So the lip area is where the zipper is and I don't like to unzip this with the lip down and it's also a lot harder to zip the, unzip this with the lip on here. So it is just easier to just flip it up 
but it's also very annoying to have to flip up the lip every single time you want to open the bag. So that is the only thing that I will say about the lip is that it can get annoying and I definitely have gotten annoyed with it um, when I just want to get in the bag really quickly and I can't because I have to flip up the lip um, constantly. If you guys keep the lip flipped like this, um, you guys can and wear it like this, perfectly fine, but I just don't prefer this look. I just think that in person it looks kind of weird, like on camera right now I think it looks fine, but also when you look on the side this is up and it's just not very cute looking, so, but this is an option, but I do prefer it down. And then it does actually get quite heavy. I put a lot of stuff in here and it actually gets quite heavy um, to have it on your shoulder. I also have shoulder problems, so that's probably why, but it kind of like weighs down my shoulder a little bit. And then sometimes I get annoyed, um, especially when I was walking a lot. Like I did a, um, a charity walk that I took this bag and I thought that this bag was going to be the most convenient and the like the least straining on me but it was a two mile walk and I was so tired and it was so hot and this bag was just weighing me down so that is a little bit of a downside I don't really use this pocket very much um I actually don't use it at all so this zipper pocket in the back you can use it. It is pretty roomy. You can put a lot of stuff in there. You can put your phone in there. I just don't use it because I just feel like it's not as convenient as um, when it's up against your body. I just feel like it's really hard to get into this zipper back pocket area, but that is just a personal preference, but I thought I would just put it out there. And I think that is everything that I can like nitpick if I had to, um, to show, to just let you guys know what is kind of like the downside of this bag. But other than that, I think that this bag is wonderful. I really like it. Um, if you guys have any more questions on it or if I missed anything, please let me know. I would love to answer any questions that you guys have. And then I'm going to show you guys what this looks like on and then what I have in there. I wore this blue tie dye dress today just so that I can show you guys what this bag looks like on other prints and that it's honestly not too scary to wear this with other prints and that this print on this bag is not scary at all. Um, so I've worn this bag with many outfits before and I don't have any problem with like, oh, I need to correlate my outfit based on this bag. I just wear whatever I want and then put this bag on and it still goes with this um, print very well. I don't think that this print is very scary. So I just wanted to put that out there that don't stay away from this bag because of this print because I honestly do think that this bag is a great deal. So this is what this looks like. This is how I normally wear the bag is as a crossbody and to my side. Sometimes I'll throw it to the back but I rarely do this because I feel like this pulls on um it like pulls me back and like strains my shoulder even more than having it up front and then sometimes i'll also have it as a shoulder bag this is very cute i have it on a pretty long length so there is still um actually i have it like on the longest length so there's still a lot for you to adjust if you want it shorter but i just have it on the longest length because i think that it is like the most convenient for me um there's also holes here for adjustment i also ha have it on the longest hole setting so i just like it because it's a great crossbody length and it sits pretty well to my body i am 5'4 and i think that this is the most comfortable i've had tried it um on a shorter setting and i just feel like it's too high it gets in my way so this is the best setting for me personally so now I want to show you guys what I have in my bag. This is nor the normal stuff that I usually take out. So this fits a lot and it can still fit more if you guys wanted to. So I have my card holder in there. I have hand sanitizer. I have two key fobs. I have my sunglasses. I have my phone. I have pepper spray have some medication in this little tub, have eye drops, and that is it. 
that is everything that I have in this bag and which is usually everything that I take out is right here so it can honestly fit more and then let me show you guys how I put everything in so I have sorry this is a little hard angle for me to film so I'm kind of struggling but I put in my sunglasses I have my two key fobs have my wallet hand sanitizer pepper spray medication eye drops and my phone and I still have so much more room to put things like I don't even need to put these in order for these to fit I can just throw everything in here which makes it super convenient so I highly recommend if you guys are traveling or if you guys are just running errands so this is a great bag Overall, I highly recommend you guys give this bag a look at because this is an amazing bag. I know so many of you guys love the bum bag and honestly, this is no different. This is the same size as the monogram version of the bum bag. So the only difference is this print. And like I said, please don't let this print scare you away from this bag. This is a great deal and honestly it goes with a lot of outfits and I have no problem with this print at all. I also get really a lot of compliments on this bag whenever I use it so highly recommend it. If I missed anything in this video please let me know. I would love to answer all your guys' questions and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did please give this video a like and also if you haven't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button down below. Turn your notifications to know when I post my next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful fantastic day.